what would a Slytherin themed bathroom look like if we were basing it off of the Slytherin common rooms or maybe even Malfoy Manor? Well, that's the question we're asking today and the design we're going to be inspired by, well, Slytherins. We know that the Slytherin common rooms are located near the Slytherin dungeon looking into the Hogwarts lake. So actually kind of below ground level looking into the lake. We know it has the feel of a mysterious underwater shipwreck, but still considered cozy. We also know that there's green silk hanging, silver threads, silver lanterns, a lot of greens and silvers. Not terribly surprising. And we see this is an actual moment in the Harry Potter films that we see here. And then this image here on the left is from Pottermore, so can't get more authentic than that. But you can see where they're going where it's kind of cozy, kind of shipwreck, kind of dark, but still comfy. So let's kind of think about what would we see at Malfoy Manor? They're pretty much the epitome of the Slytherin house. Everybody knows them. And that's kind of what drew my eye into this really fun snake print wallpaper. Now this is just one panel and we're going to use this as our inspiration piece. I did my best to try to recreate what I assume it would look like on a larger scale with multiple panels together, but for now we're going to use this as our statement wall. With that as our inspiration, kind of keeping in mind what we see from Alpha Manor, what we know, there's lots of blacks and dark colors, so we're going to bring that in with a little marble. And I found this beautiful accent mirror. I've used a similar one in some of my Bridgerton inspired boards, but I thought this is ornate and lush and definitely something I could see a Slytherin want in their home. Pairing with that is a very cool two sink vanity set. Again, keeping that ornate detailing because I think that's the type of house that a Slytherin would want. Well, the sink is a critical part of any bathroom, but having storage extra bonus and it looking great, even better. So I think we've got that area, at least for now, started. So what else do we need in a bathroom? Well, of course we need all the necessities, a toilet, a shower, whatever, but in a Slytherin themed bathroom, I could see them indulging in themselves, wanting to do a lot of self care, stroke the ego a little bit. So why not have a clawfoot bathtub with a beautiful snakeskin textured wallpaper? That's right, folks. I found a black, beautiful clawfoot bathtub, nice silver accents in the legs that we see here. Super nice, white inside, kind of a, almost a matte finish on the outside. And I thought, how cool would this be with the background of this cool textured reptile, I mean it could be snake, it could be reptile, wallpaper behind it. Super fun, right? But that's not really all we need in a bathroom. We need nice lighting. We need it to feel comfy and cozy and inviting because, you know, if you're sitting there relaxing in your tub, you're going to need something to make you want to be there. What sets the tone better than lighting? Well, nothing really. So I found this really cool it's kind of a brushed bronze almost lamp, but I think in, in a low lighting situation, it's gonna look black. But how cool is this chandelier? It's kind of snaky, it kind of goes with the jungle. And of course it's crystal because nothing better than the best for a Slytherin, I think. Okay, so we've got a good foundation of where we want this design to go. Let's scale it up a little bit. What do you think? I upgraded the floor to these kind of serpent-esque tiles. I think there's something fun and scaly about them without them being a literal organic tiled look. And what else did we do here? Well, you can tell that we took the wallpaper and brought it floor to ceiling. This is probably going to end up being an accent wall in a bathroom like this. And I suspect there's going to be other walls that'll be solids or even have full tile on them if it's in like the shower area. You might notice a big addition here is this beautiful big mirror. This is a freestanding mirror, so almost 360 view, but you can stand in the middle of this mirror and get views of yourself, your outfit, from all these angles, kind of like a premium dressing room in your own bathroom. Of course, it's silver because nothing else would do. And we need to keep going a little bit more. We're going to need to fill this in and make it feel extra luxe. So details like this chandelier. I love it because it has that luxurious feel with the crystal, but also it kind of has that organic element kind of matching our serpents, kind of matching our jungle a little bit here in these little branches that come out of it. 
absolutely a stunner over a big statement bathtub like this. I think finishing out this area, a touch of plants goes a long way. It's going to, one, help bring a little bit of softness and it's going to lighten up the space and it's going to provide texture with all the different leaves. And it's gonna be kind of a fun nod because we have a lot of almost jungle elements in the snake and snake pattern uh, wallpapers that we have here. So it's kind of just a nice play, hitting a lot of the core elements that we need in a Slytherin themed room. Of course, I think green towels would be perfect for a bathroom like this. So what else? Finishing touches. Well, you might've noticed I've added this cool molding. Now it's not molding like you would think of where you go to Home Depot, you buy big 10 foot rods of it and you cut it to fit. No, this is actually peel and stick, ready to go, black, almost like a twisted rope. But to me, it reminded me of a coiling snake. And I thought this would be really fun to add along your statement wallpaper area. So even if you didn't go all out and add all of this textured wallpaper and you only, let's say, did the green fantastic snake print wallpaper and maybe your walls were just a nice kind of satin black this would be a really nice way to divide those areas and kind of frame out that special statement piece in the bathroom now of course the mirror is going to be over here but we don't want to finish the sink just yet we want to make sure that if you're standing in front of the sink you have plenty of lighting to do your makeup to check your outfit before you go and i thought you know, there's something interesting about the Slytherins and what we know about their personalities, the type of people that are typically in it, and they're not all bad. They're not, you know, not every Slytherin is, is on the dark side, so to say. But I think it's very interesting to have crystal mixed in because there's something about the facets and the lights and the way everything works together with the reflections that just seems oddly right for a Slytherin, don't you think? Might be getting too meta, but I found these crystal pendant lamps. Now there's two vanity, there's two lights here. They're considered vanity lights so when you're looking this up. All of the links are down below, but just so you know, if you're ever looking it up, these are considered vanity lights. And there's four lights on each one. And they have this nice kind of downward facing angle to them. So that way your eyes aren't necessarily drawn up. But if they are, it sends you back down to look at all of this incredible detail that's here. A little touch of plants and i'm sure you would style with your own black maybe black and silver toothbrush holders and whatnot but we need more because we're not done yet <laughs> so i found this great coordinating light which technically i found out isn't from the same manufacturer officially but nevertheless it looks like it matches perfectly to this beautiful chandelier that's over our beautiful beautiful clawfoot bathtub and I found one that is not really a chandelier, it's more of a ceiling light. It's very much so higher up, whereas this chandelier is draping down. This one's gonna be higher up, closer, flush with the ceiling, and this is gonna help provide that perfect lighting that we're gonna want standing in front of our three-way mirror. Now I thought, how fun if you're having a little dressing area, you need a space to throw your clothes over, sit down, take a minute, put those shoes on, figure out if everything works. So this beautiful emerald green tufted ottoman seemed like a must have for this. And I like that it has just a touch of geometric elements, which will tie into the floor. And I think the rest of the space is pretty great. Now, of course, the little details that are high end luxe is really what I think is gonna make this feel like it should be in the Malfoy Manor. So a faux sheepskin rug, and I found this one, which is really fun because it's white, but at the tips they have little gray black elements. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. It's gonna bring all of the colors together, especially with our pop of green ottoman. And then something like a brushed nickel or brushed satin, uh, depending on how you wanna look at it, finished garment rack, something like this, more like a coat hanger than a garment rack, but nevertheless, something like this to have nearby so you could try in different outfits, you know, throw things on over here that aren't fitting or maybe not going with the look is a must have. And to round everything out, something like some little foliage plants over here is gonna help tie everything together and make it look very cohesive. 
So recapping what we know about the Slytherin common rooms, we know that they're cozy, they're definitely water focused because they literally look into the Hogwarts Lake and they even go so far on Pottermore as to say that the giant squid has been known to make rounds in front of the windows and the students could see it. We know there's lots of greens, silks, silvers, hanging lanterns from the ceiling. So did we answer the question? What would a Slytherin themed bathroom look like? Yeah, I think we did. This is totally at home for the Malfoy Manor. I could see them in there. No questions asked. They would look completely where they're supposed to be. All right, friends. My name is Alessandra. Thanks for decorating with me again this week. And make sure you subscribe so you can see what we do next week for the Gryffindor themed room. All right, friends. Until next time. Thanks for watching.